from officers being physically violent to a man who was on a stretcher. Get on your stomach! Watch your face! The officers slamming a suspect and his wife's head on the ground. Here are four times when dirty cops were caught red-handed assaulting innocent suspects. Disclaimer. Somewhere between 2022 and 2023, Carrie Jarvis was pulled over by officers from Daytona Beach Police Department for minor traffic infractions. While conversing with the officers, Carrie was calm, composed, and cooperative. But yet, the officers kept escalating the situation for no apparent reason. Again, no weapons or anything in your man other than that knife there. Yeah, that's it. Okay, just it. don't make any movement. Yeah, Start out. No appreciate it, man. I've been staying out of trouble. I don't want no problems. If I can do what I'm supposed to be doing. When's the last time you got in trouble? Uh, like five, well, after I had got, I had went to jail when I first got out of prison. And then, well, they dropped charges because it wasn't mine anyway. When did you get out of, when did you get out of prison? Uh, nine months ago. Nine months ago? What'd you serve time for? Uh, on so on what kind of no. What kind of uh, That's when I was young, though. Okay. Did, how did, how did long did you do? Six years. Six years for I got gotcha. you. Before that, I did 13 years, though. So you've done what, a total of nine, 19, 19 years? All for narcotics? But, but, yeah, but I don't get it. I finished my parole, everything, stepping out, working. I work at uh, uh, Saute Chef at Bubba Gums. You work at Bubba Gums? What you do there? Saute Chef. Saute Chef? Very nice. Mr. Carey showed respect by sharing information about his past with the officer, even though it wasn't necessary. Little did he know that the officer would later use that information against him. Did he tell you why he pulled you over? Yeah, somebody, I didn't, uh, I didn't stop at the little thing right there, coming out of the thing. Oh yeah, when you're exiting private I property, that, crossing a state sidewalk, or city sidewalk onto a city roadway, you must treat it like an actual stop sign, okay. coming to a complete stop and then proceeding into the intersection um also you can't have this stuff hanging from your rear view because i mean per per statue it it, it is illegal because it it's technically obstructed driver's view because you can't have anything that didn't come with the vehicle etc etc hanging from the rear view mirror okay nah you good man it's, it's, a mi it's a minor petty little thing yeah but i didn't know that in response to the officer's request he even removed items hanging from the rear view mirror, indicating a willingness to cooperate. So you said we can't search the car? Okay. Okay. Well, here's the thing. While my partner was behind you and prior to activating his lights and sirens, he observed furtive movements, which is movements into certain areas. So we're going to check where those movements were and only where those movements were, okay? Step out of the vehicle, please. Uh, Undo your seatbelt, because we don't know if you're hiding weapons, guns, hiding grenades, weapons, anything, man. Saying, we're I doing our job, do so wrong, we're sir. just doing our job, sir. Please step out of the vehicle. I didn't do nothing wrong, though, man. Please step out of the vehicle. We observe furtive movements, so we are just doing our job. The officer then asked Mr. Carey if he could search his car, even though he had no right to do so, unless he found Mr. Carey to be a suspicious suspect of carrying illegal items. He declined. But the officer insisted and proceeded to force the search. When we observe oh, furtive don't movements, don't treat me like that, man. case right. law backs it up where we can search where that was because we don't know if you're hiding weapons, trying to okay, access so a weapon. And if there's nothing sir. there, there's nothing, nothing there, man. There. Then you go on your way. That's it. No, as simple as that. No, you can't search my car, man. Get out of the car. That's good. No, that's cool. No, I'm not doing nothing, man. Car. No, don't grab get me now. You're about to go to jail. Don't, don't grab me, man. Resistant. Get out of the car. Come on, don't do me like that, man. Get out of the car. I want to talk to somebody, man. Get out of the car. You can hey, talk to this, man. man. Get out. Hey, get out. Don't see this bullshit, man. Man, come on, man. Don't do it, man. Y'all, man. As Mr. Carey was well aware of his rights and felt uncomfortable, he started the engine and drove away. But that's when he crashed his car into the side of a jungle. 57 Central, car went 12F, we got Agbat Elio. Oh, <laughs> that car signal four at the end of uh... You to me, bro. I didn't do nothing wrong, man. No, I want somebody here, man. You trying to me, bro? Yeah. Yeah, you trying to me, man? Hey, everybody, look at this. Everybody, look at this shit. 
Stop resisting. Look at everybody. Stop resisting. Yeah, man, look at that Bro, why y'all did this to me, man? Look at this y'all. Ah! Ah! ah. 10, 15, clearly here. The officer drags him out of the car and places him in cuffs, and he kept yelling that he didn't do anything wrong. Damn, man. Oh, why do you keep that shit, bro? You need to both of us, bro. Ah! Come on, man! I'm saying, bro, you can both of us, bro! Nah, you almost both of us. It's surprising that Jarvis was arrested and charged with two counts of aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer and aggravated fleeing. Not only that, but he was held without bond and spent 369 days behind bars. He was later released when Judge Sandra Upchurch reviewed the body cam footage of both officers, stating that the whole situation could have been avoided if the officers had allowed Mr. Jarvis to leave. He's now suing the department, both officers individually and in their official capacity. The trauma endured by Mr. Jarvis from the officers is indeed alarming, but officers tasing an innocent man on a stretcher is even more disturbing. On January 16th, 2021, Truman McCollum accidentally hit another car in the drive through of a Burger King on East Stan Schluter Loop. Bystanders claimed that at the time of the incident, Mr. Truman was having a seizure. When officers arrived on the scene, the situation escalated to the point where Mr. Truman ended up in an ambulance. Hey, I'm thinking he's, uh, he's 1055. Huh? Yeah, because they said they did. Mr. Truman can clearly be seen unconscious when he was transferred to the ambulance on a stretcher, but officers still expected him to reply. And when he didn't, this is what happened. Whole traffic. Stop. Stop. Grab him down. Grab him down. Grab him down. Oh. 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 Stop being in the taste. Stop. Stop. Stop! Stop! Let me see your hands! Turn around, turn around, get in your stomach! Get on your stomach! Let's keep going. Stop! Stop! Oh, stop! Turn around, quit! Face that way! Face that way! Stop! Quit! Purple spot! Come here, go, please! Get down, get down. Mr. Truman was seeking medical assistance, not a taser, which the officer clearly failed to understand. And if one taser wasn't enough... Quit! Get his arms! Get Quit moving! Get his arms! Get his arms! Watch this taser! Sam, we need more units. Stop. Give me your hand. Quit. Mr. Truman was tasered twice by the officers who believed he was resisting them, when in reality, he was likely experiencing a seizure. You go get it again. Get one. Get one. Arm. Stop. Let me see your hands! Come here, come here, Quit moving. Quit moving. Stop! Quit! Two more tasers were deployed on Mr. Truman in order to restrain him in cuffs. It appears that, at this point, the officers used the taser more like a toy squirt gun on Mr. Truman. But despite all that, it wasn't yet the end of the drama. Stop moving! Uh, one detained, but go my he's still hand. uncontrollable. He's outside now! And stop flailing around. Okay, we're, no. Hey, listen, listen. Put me, please. We're, hey, listen. Please, put me in head, man. We're not. Help me. We're just trying to search yeah. you. Yeah. Okay? All right, bring him in. Yeah, bring yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good. Will you please, hey, man? Will you please hit me, yeah. Oh, use your legs. Cut it, cut it out. Use your legs. Stand up. Stand up, sir. Stand up. Can you please let me go, man? Oh. Mr. Truman was then dragged out of an ambulance to transfer him to a police patrol car. In a surprising turn of events, Three out of the four officers involved in the incident are still working with the force, and to make the situation even worse, 
Mr. Truman was charged with driving under the influence and resisting arrest. The situation where Mr. Truman was tasered four times while unconscious is heart-wrenching. But what about an officer who slammed a suspect's wife's head just because the suspect denied his orders? Deputy Patrick Rail from the Bernalillo County Police Department initiated a traffic stop on Gregory Buchanan for speeding in his vehicle on March 8, 2023. The deputy claimed that Mr. Buchanan was driving at 68 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour zone. Here's how the scene unfolded. Stay in your car. Get in your car. Why are you going to tase me, bro? Get in your car. What did I do? Why are you going to tase me, bro? Get in your How car. How am I threatening you? Dude, I have all my paperwork. Please don't. Uh, don't. Oh, oh, oh. Dude. He got, he was I don't out. care. It seems like the deputy had already made up his mind to tase Mr. Buchanan because without asking any questions, he just deployed it. Cut don't, it don't, out. Don't do that. My husband is not. Cut it out. Stop, bro. I didn't do problem. anything. No. I didn't do anything. Leave him alone. Oh my Dude, it's goodness. a traffic stop. You know what? Am I not? Or so. Do I not have the right to get out of my vehicle? Do I not have the right to get out of my vehicle? Do I not have the right to get out of my vehicle? For what? Uh-uh, no. You are not arresting him. What did, I, what did I do? Turn around! Okay! Go f Turn around! You. you know what? What Turn around! Turn around! You. Turn around. I'm around! Stand back! You, you can talk no, to me no, after. Let you. me do it. You. Turn around. I'm around. Put your hands I'm around. Your Put your hands behind your back. Oh. They're right here. All the way. That's my. Turn I, I got broad shoulders. Turn around. You film this. Shit, Are you serious? Film this shit. Go. We have kids. Bro, okay. I turn around. Shut the f up. Cuff me then. The deputy kept yelling at Mr. Buchanan to turn around, even though Mr. Buchanan was already facing his vehicle with his hands behind his back. I was not a. F Turn around! I'm around! Babe, close my door. Go ahead, arrest me. I'm trying to keep her away from me. No, I understand you, I'm just trying to keep her back. Get my keys, close the door. Just yeah. trying to keep well, her back ah, from me. Bro, you don't have to do it so I have some damn nerve. This is ridiculous. Get back in the car, man, or you're oh, going to cuff too. What are you going to take me to? Hey, stop. Are you oh, serious? Babe, 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 film it! Hey! Hey! hey, hey, stop, hey get hey, back! Stop! Stop! Okay! Get back! What are you doing? Get back! Why are you doing this to my husband? Mr. Buchanan was tasered once again, and this time, too, without any apparent reason. The only lame excuse the deputy could come up with is that Mr. Buchanan's wife was getting closer. Sure. You know Michael has been? And I got you on video. You know Michael has been? Stand way. up and you're getting in my car. Oh, hang on! Oh. Turn. Oh. You stand back for me. Oh. Dude, my head, hang on. Stand dude. up. Hang on, my head, dude, I'm like f***ing dizzy. Okay, stand dude, up. Dude, please, I'm literally dude. fading in and out. And of I'm helping you up, get you're up. You're slamming on my head, man. Oh. Dude, babe, lock my car, please. Have a seat. Yeah, sir, please. Hang on, you please. Don't Have a seat. Mr. Buchanan was forcefully put into a patrol car, but here comes something you might not have expected. Turn around. No, you're uh, Turn around. Not today. I'm Turn sorry, around. I'm not. Turn around. I did nothing wrong. Turn around. Leave me alone. Turn around. Leave me alone. Turn I around. did nothing wrong. Turn around. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I did nothing wrong. Okay? I did nothing wrong. You're upset because I'm filming you right now. Turn around. I'm not. I'm not. I did nothing wrong. I have my kids to get back home to. Damn you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I didn't do anything. What the f I didn't do anything. You're on a barbed wire fence. Get off. I did not Turn. do anything. Oh! Oh! Stop! What are you on the ground? What the fuck? I didn't do anything. You're on the ground. I didn't do Excessive force was clearly used during her arrest as the officer slammed her head into the ground. Despite her cries that she was hurt, the officer showed zero concern and did not back off. I was standing by my car. He pulled us over. And 
I didn't do anything. Officer. Don't why resist. Would you, why would you do this? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Do not pull my tongue. Do not touch my body. Why would Why would you do that? You know that address? If arresting her just because she was filming wasn't enough, the deputy also acted unethically by touching her when he could have requested other units with female officers through his radio. Please, no! What are you doing tonight? No! Let go of my hand. Why are you grabbing me? Let go of my hand. Why are you grabbing me? Let go of my hand. Please stop! Please stop! Why are you grabbing me? You do not grab onto my hand. No, I, I don't know. I did not hold it there. Ow! 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 Stop! I, resist I, me! I'm not resisting. Sir, please. Be a man. <laughs> You're hurting stop, me. Stop moving. I'm not just stop. Put your arms behind you. Okay, but don't use my arm like that, sir. You do not grab onto my hand. Why would you? The deputy then again slams her against their own car, claiming she's resisting, when in reality, everything was going exactly his way. Following the incident, Deputy Rail was placed on paid administrative leave shortly after the incident. Mr. Buchanan was charged with no proof of insurance, speeding, expired motor vehicle registration, resisting arrest, and drug possession. While the unjust treatment of the couple, despite being on the right side of the law, is concerning, the illegal detention of Miss Brandy simply for visiting her mother is equally astonishing. On November 14th, 2022, officers received a call from a staff member of a household complaining about a daughter, Miss Brandy, who was visiting her mother. Upon the police reaching the scene, they insisted to the staff member that she was probably trespassing. I've done nothing wrong. I'm just visiting um, they don't want to hear until you figure out what's going on between you and them. No, they tried to file false charges on me, told me I can't take pictures of my mom. Bullsh**. So, it, so it sounds like until you can clear it up with her. No, it's already been there. cleared. They called me. Yeah. I'll, I'll play the call for you. She told me their investigation Brent, is done. Brandy, here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. She can't just make up stories. Okay. Here's, here's the deal. Uh -huh. They don't want to hear it now. So that's how we go up there. We can try and communicate with her and figure out what's the, what the issue is. There is no issue. Okay, so that's there's one that's one option. The second option is that we can make you because they don't want you here. So you're trespassing. They can't be. Here. I'm not trespassing. Okay. So you are you, right now. They don't want you. Miss Brandy told the police that the issue had already been resolved and he had a call recording as evidence. But officers still insisted for her to leave the building. Like he's saying to obviously something's going on that we're worth her. No, but we that's what I'm saying. They've already called the police on me. The police already told them I'm committing no crime. Then they called me and told me that their investigation is over. So. So it sounds like you need to have a you need to yeah, talk, you need to talk with, to with the woman that we that we came in with. But she's breaking the law. Um, by doing what she's doing. She's not my mom's guardian. Yeah, but so this is her business. She works for this business, so she can call us any. She can trespass anyone in here. Right. Well, so. then she will have a lawsuit on her hands that she can have at it. Okay. It's okay. You want a lawsuit? We're not going to do this part. I've done nothing wrong. You okay, can't even Brandy. tell me what I've done wrong. Brandy, you're being trespassed right now. So yeah, of all you said, I could talk to her. Well, we can right schedule now, a time to talk down. to her. I'm not, I'm not mad. She's the one that's being stupid. All right. Yep. Enjoy your lawsuit. Now, Brittany, you have your own driver's license? Even though she left the building, it was irresistible for officers to create drama. Huh? And we're, you're detained until we figure that out. And you, either why are you detaining me? Because, because right now you have to be officer, trespassed. To okay, well, can I, hold on, can I make one phone call? Nope, you have to give me your driver's license. I or don't just tell have me your name. to give you, um, you already know my name. Okay, can you write down we know. Oh yep. my God. That's exactly how it's spelled. So what's until, your... we, until we can find you and figure, we can figure out who you are. Hold on, exactly. I'm going to call and let them know if they'll pick up my kids that I'm being arrested. You're not being arrested right oh, now, yeah, you're being yeah. detained. So detained and I'm... arrested are two different things. Being arrested means that you've been charged with something, being detained is temporary. Hold on, I'm being detained 
Okay. Do you want to? Because I won't give them my license. All right. So what's I've your I've done date of, nothing wrong. What's your date of birth? I've committed no crime. Brandy, what's your date of birth? Your date of birth? It's interesting that the officers asked for her driver's license in that situation, where it was not relevant at all. However, as she refused to provide it and started recording, this was inevitable. I committed no crime. Okay, in the presence of a police officer, you have we'll get to get a scanner and then we'll figure it out. Let go of the phone. Brandy, do you want to charge her disorderly? I'm not doing anything okay, wrong. Right now, in the state of Michigan, you need to Russell, present identification. Only if, if I've committed a crime with reasonable, true. articulable suspicion, and I've done nothing of the so sort. So right now, you've been trespassed, okay? Uh -huh. So we need to identify you so uh -huh. we can successfully trespass uh -huh. you by doing our lawful job. Okay. okay. You can record all you want. We're also recording, yeah. okay? Yeah. So right now, your phone's being confiscated because you are being detained. We can't put you in the back seat without searching you first. We have to know okay. any weapons or anything on no, you, okay? No, nothing. Just nothing? keys and a phone. Okay. No wallet whatsoever? It's in, in my phone. It's in your phone? Okay. Right, let's just walk over to the... We're going to walk over to the cruiser. She was illegally detained for trespassing, and the officers thought they could justify it. But they would be proven wrong in the end. Like, I've got her 911 call today. I got the body cam today from the last okay. time. See, this is wrong. That's all something that you can sue her civilly for. Correct. Yep, I, I'm I mean, just agreeing with you. I know. I would be upset too, honestly, if it like, was my personal. Because they leave my mom in the same clothes for 35 hours. And then don't put her in her chair and feed her in bed with her neck injury. Uh, and then I told no, my report into the state. That's, that's what it's she, all over. Does she have a legal guardian? Yes. Okay, the legal that, guardian uh, yes, doesn't yes. talk to me. No, because uh, she, because they lied to her. Do you have any way of changing them? Uh, my brother, my, she, the, the guardian is giving it to my little brother, and that's what they don't want. She was set free after being illegally detained when officers found nothing on her. It appears that she was well aware of the law better than the officers were. Nothing new there. There's no information available if any charges were made against the officers or if any lawsuit was filed against them. But we live in hope.